Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there because I was reading my book. Top of the afternoon to all you gentlemen and fine ladies. Welcome to another fireside chat with me, Captain Richard. Well, hello to Micah and Alice. Ah, you know, the other day someone said, I wonder where Alice is. And I said, I have not seen the young rogue in quite some time. So welcome back to you, Alice. I see Sky is here. And Gabrielle. So many faces to enjoy the warmth of our fire today. We have some exciting things to peruse, all of us. What is the code for the Google Classroom? Why, Clark? Um, let me find the, so this is the, let me find the, let me find my Google class code for the junior high. Let me find my junior high Google class because this one o'clock hour is for the elementary. But I don't want you to have the wrong Google code. Let's see. Um, okay, I am going to put it into chat. Now, if you come at the two o'clock hour, it will be pretty much just this. Okay, so where's my chat now? Here we are. This is the junior high class code. Oh, does it, it copied the whole ugly thing? Okay, hold on a second. I have made a mistake. So let me try again. Here we are. Here we are. Copy this. Okay. There it is. That, Mr. Clark, is the junior high uh, code and this ladies and gentlemen is boop, my Google classroom for our elementary students at this hour so if you have not joined the elementary stem Google classroom this is your invite code you must enter it into your Google classroom and then we will share all kinds of fun stuff have simple rockets. Yes, that is one of my favorite video games. It's very difficult. All right. So, we have some things to go over today. First, our primary learning target is to simply enjoy each other's company by the warm fire down there. Down there. There's the fire. Right there. Okay? And Two, we are going to look at a new website that a strapping young Zayden has sent to me. So I will show you the website. Let me see here. Yes, Zayden was the one who sent it to us today. So first today we are all going to go to mrincorvia.com the internet's top top website for all stem related activities Emma says that she has a new dog oh, Emma that is excellent news what kind of dog did you get is it a puppy or is it a dog these things are important when discussing canines all right Let's just go to MrAncorvia.com. Here we are at MrAncorvia.com. Now I do, Clark is right. He's like, 
Incorporated. He probably went to MrIncorporated.com and said, ah, oh, this is the Google Classroom code. I should make sure that I differentiate between the junior high and the elementary. This is not the junior high code. I will post the junior high code at two o'clock. All right. So Zayden has sent us something. First, this is the game that he has sent me. It is called First Super Mario Bros. It is called Super Mario Bros. The First. Here is the game, and it is very interesting because there is Mario. This game looks like Mario. You can grab the controls and move it around. So this is, this is, it looks like Scratch, but this is not Scratch. This is a whole nother program that I did not even know existed. And I am very, very excited to look at this. Zayden, thank you very much for showing this to me. So what's cool is that it has these on-screen controls. Look at Mario go. You can make him go up, make him down, move him around. And it has on-screen controls here. It has like a menu system and it has a reset button too. There you go, see? You can also use the keyboard. You see, I am now pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard and that makes him do things too. Okay, so I, can, I guess I can press the space bar to make him throw these Mario fireballs. And I found out that if you touch this brick right here, you become like Fire Mario. So here you can play this game. You, you fall down here. Game over. Quite tragic. So I will simply go through the level here. It seems like Mario can fly. Like, if you are pressing left or right, he doesn't actually fall down. He just keeps going. But if you let go of all the keys, then he does fall. So some code needs to be tweaked there. And then you just kind of follow the path of the level here, avoid the lava, and eventually you come to the end, and it says you win! And then you go through the level again. I believe it is the same level. Oh no, it is, yes, the same level. Yeah. So this was very interesting. So I wanted to see uh, show code. Let's take a look at the inside of this project here. It's like bits box. Yes, I'm not sure what bits box is. So I will show you the name of the program in a second. Let me pull up my chat on my phone so I can read while we take a look. we are. Now I have the chat open all the time. Okay, so let's take a look at our this code here. So this is the code and it looks a lot like Scratch, right? So I was so excited. I wanted to, I'm like, I want to get into this really fast, but I wanted to do it with you guys. So this is going to be the first time that I take a look at this program and I'm very excited about what we could do with it okay I've never coded anything in it so we're gonna just kind of mess around today will I turn off slow mode no I will not turn off slow mode you must wait 10 seconds before saying something Alice and the reason for that is that I want you to think very carefully what is it I want to say is it worth my 10 seconds or perhaps, is it more like, I just want to say blah, 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 over and over and over. That is a waste of your time. So, I have made slow mode on for 10 seconds, so you must think before you type. Okay? Okay, let us continue with thing. Here we are. 
What we're going to do is we're going to go to MrIncorvia.com. And we are going to... Uh, let me turn the music down a little bit for us. There we go. Just a little bit down. We are going to go to games. I have put this link under the pink games button. So click the pink games button. And this is the one you are looking for. Arcade make code. Arcade make code. If you click this, it will bring you to the arcade make code. All right. Now you can click new project here. Here is the Super Mario Brothers first that Zayden has sent to us. And here are a whole bunch of different games that you can play and look at the code. So let's, for example, let's try Jumpy Platformer. We will click this. All right. And we will click this open example, right? Here we are. Now this looks a lot like Scratch. Here we see all of the different blocks, right? All the different blocks. Can we zoom out? Yes, there we are. So here are all the different blocks. Very cool. Now this is going to be a little more um, advanced. You can see that there are no, there's no list of sprites anywhere. All of the blocks, all of them are right here. Whoa, this is a big program. Okay. This is a more advanced coding than Scratch. If you are very good at Scratch, then this is something that you can get working on. Over here, we have the game. Move with the left buttons and right buttons. Okay. Jump with up or A button. Double jump by pressing jump again. So we can move back and forth here. We can jump. Now let's go to full screen here. There we are. Let me use the keys here. So we can jump. We can double jump. Oh, we got that guy. Oh, he got us. I got two at the same time there. Next level. Oh, so look, we have multiple levels. So you can see this, what a great game. Now, this is the thing that I was very, very excited about. This is the thing that I was like, oh my goodness, I can't wait for this. So just like Scratch, this program lets us make cool games, right? Why, hello, Ryer. Come join us by the fire. We are all having a jolly good time today. You are good at this game. Why, thank you. I've played many video games in my life and a little jumpy game is pretty easy for me. So I was very excited because not only does it do fun games. There we are. <laughs> not only does it do fun games. Hey, do the thing. There we go. Oh, new kind of enemy. Let's see what happens when we lose. Oh, game over. <laughs> game over. So, not only can we make cool games online like we can with, um, with Scratch, but come take a look. If we scroll down, we have all kinds of fun things. We have like community games where people build things together. We have game uh, design concepts. We have graphics and math games. We have lessons, how to do things. We have how to code, right? This is, but then here's the part that I was very excited about. Take a look. 
Here we have hardware. You can actually download, you can actually buy, um, you can buy yourself some hardware like this. People have built little machines, see, look at this. That you can then put the games you code online. So this is a Kickstarter. How silly is that? We didn't want it. like like this guy. Now I actually ended up buying one of these. I bought this Adafruit Ply Gamer. This one. It was forty. It was forty dollars, thirty nine ninety five, and this will let you play the games you make online as a handheld. Bruh, I know. I am so excited about this. The moment I saw this, I was like, I'm buying one of these and we're gonna learn how to make one of these because I want us to be able to make our own handheld video games and then code them using this maker, this uh, make code arcade. So I am very excited about this program. Very, very excited. Let's see what chat is saying here. Jolly good time. Yes, indeed. Hi, I'm in read aloud. I'll come in after this chapter. Oh, very good, Ryer. Reading aloud is a very important thing to do. And honestly, one of my favorite things to do is to read books and to read them out loud. One of my, it's my favorite thing. Also coding video games. Kyler and Aiden say hi. Hello, gentlemen. So let us, uh, now that we've warmed ourselves up by the fire a little bit, let us return and I'm going to try to code something very simple, very quickly. Please note, I have never worked in this coding before. I wanted very much to try it last night, but I said, you know what? I'm going to wait for my students. That's you guys. And I'm going to try it out for the first time live, kind of like a computer programming unboxing event. I don't know if I'm going to be successful. In fact, probably I am going to mess up quite a bit and we're not going to make much because this is my very first time. Tyler says, how is your day? My day is smashing now that we are all together by the fire. Sky says, no, 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 no. I do not know what you are saying no about Mr. Sky. So let us continue on. Let's take a look and make a new program. So it seems like every time you play something, it adds it right to your list so that you can work with it. Let's click new project. We are going to call this project captain's test. Okay, create project. Here we are. A new project. We have a on start. This is probably a lot like when green flag clicked. So we say on start. Let's see what we can, can we just make some text show up on the screen? Hmm? Let's see, we have sprites. Mm -hmm. Projectiles, mm -hmm. life cycle, oh, interesting. Images, okay. Uh, controller. Game, on game update, on game update. Hmm. Time since start. Look at all these interesting blocks. We have music blocks. Hmm. Oh, look, we have, we can play notes and make our own music. Scene, screen width, screen height. Interesting. Interesting. 
info score loops. Oh, here's forever. Remember, we know forever from scratch, don't we? And repeat and while. We know these very well. Logic. Oh, if, if true, if then else. We know these from scratch too. And we have some variables. Advance. Oh, here is text. Here we are. So let's say, can we, is there a print? Hmm. Well, that does not help us. How do I delete a block? Put it in, there we go. Okay, uh, let's do sprite. Set my sprite to player. Okay. My sprite to sprite, well, let's call this um, real name, uh, player. The kind player already exists for another kind. Okay. Set Um, well, we'll just call it my sprite. And what is this? Ooh, we can paint a sprite. Oh my goodness. Okay, let us draw a, a face. We can do a circle. Good, we can do undo. Okay, there's center circles. So let's grab the middle here. Very good, very good. And we will put, um, boop. Nope. <laughs> okay. There we are. And let us put, there we go. And we got a face. Done. Okay. Set my sp Oh, look, we have a, we have a sprite on the screen. <laughs> we have Will you let Biza in? Um, we don't need to let Biza in anywhere. This is just a live video. If she just comes to the link, it will work. So there is the thing. Let's look at controls here. Game, gameplay. Oh, controller, here we are. Move sprite, my sprite with buttons. Okay. Oh, look, look, we got it working already. We have a man, so with just a few codes, just a, look at this, just a few blocks. We have some kind of a game going on already. Can we make a new sprite? Okay. Set my sprite to to, let's do a a pink smiley face. So here's our pink smiley face. I'll say this is done. And oh, so they are both player right now. So what is it kind? It is a, uh, it is a enemy. <laughs> okay. And so, oh, they have velocity, velocities. Okay, set my position to Set, okay, let's rename variable. No, 
um, rename. We're gonna call this pink enemy. Okay. And we're gonna set its position to, oh, look at that. You can like, oh, it gives you cord. Look how cool that is. Look how cool that is. Oops, she doesn't want to. Okay, that is fine. Look, you can say, okay, I want it to go over this way. I want it to go over this way. You can line up. Look at that. So let's start it down in this corner down here. Oh, you can just pick. I want it to go right there. Okay. Oh, look, it starts it down there. There we go. And now we want to um can we get it to chase the uh so projectiles wow okay change the x oh here's follow set enemy follow okay set my enemy follow my sprite program failed so my enemy Oh, there is no my enemy. I need to pick pink enemy. There we are. There we go. Oh, look at that. It follows it around with a speed. Now this is too fast. So let's set this to 20. See how that goes. Oh, look. Now we can, we can flee. Go away. Uh oh, I've lost my sprite. Oh, so we definitely want to make it so that you can't go out of bounds. But look at that, it follows. So here we have, this is it. I am very excited about this. Oh, something is messing up <laughs> with the size here. So is there a way we can set the boundaries? Oh, the screen width. Here, okay, let's do full mode. Reset. There we go. Yeah, it still goes off the screen. Okay, so we're gonna need to figure out how to do screen size. Physics. Ah, on sprite of any kind player hits wall. Okay, if it hits wall at, I don't know what this is. We'll have to like mess with that later. But look, we have the beginnings of a game. We can move around and this sprite follows us. This is very cool. And we could code this and put it on our own handheld. How interesting is that? I am very excited to make some tutorials and teach you guys how to do this. Now this would be really for advanced scratch people. For example, take a look at my code here. You can see that we have my sprite and we have pink enemy. These are like two different sprites in Scratch. In Scratch, we would put all of my sprites block under my sprites and all of pink enemies blocks under the pink enemy sprite. But in this, all of the, all of the blocks go on the same board. So you have to be more organized in your head. Scratch is more for beginners. This is like level two coding. All right, level two. Scratch is level one. This is level two. So I'm very excited. And we're going to we're going to get one of these guys too. And we're going to learn how to build one of these. <clears throat> so that way we can do all kinds of fun stuff together. Okay. 
Yes, I am very excited about it. It's going to be very fun. Okay. So, um, Micah asks, how do I come up with my video names? Micah, that is a very good question. And I will tell you, young lad, that there is a re there is a way I come up with them and I want you to discover why do I come up with the names of my videos the way I do that is something for as a riddle a riddle for you to unravel ha 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 all right ladies and gentlemen so if you are in elementary please go to my add my google classroom to your um to your google classroom join my google classroom all right right now if you do not if you're like how do i do that captain make sure you say <clears throat> mom or dad or great uncle jim or whoever maybe an older brother or an older sister could help you. Find someone who can help you add this code so that you can join our Google Classroom. And if you need to get this code after this video is over, you can go to mrincorvia.com. And here it is. That is not it. This is it. Go to mrincorvia.com and here it is. You can join the link. If you are in junior high at two o'clock, I will have the junior high classroom link. All right. So very good then, quite ripping. I'm glad that you were all with me here today for our fireside chat. I like just discovering things with you in the world of STEM online. I like our little fireside chats. So. Um, I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock for Answer Plays Minecraft. It'll be a very good day. Um, last time we found some diamonds and I think we are going to go exploring a bit. I might also show you a little bit of the Minecraft server that I have had running for a number of years. It is an older uh, Minecraft. It is on Java, you know because I started playing long before there was Minecraft Windows 10 or Minecraft Bedrock. So this is just something that we can, I can show you one day. Okay. Ryer says, I still haven't gotten it to work. What have you not gotten to work, Ryer? Yes, I know you have Java, but I don't have a server for it. It is something I just run on my computer. Ah, well, there is a link on my website here. If you scroll down here, it says the Minecraft server information. This will help you get on. This will teach you how to get on. There is, uh, this is what everyone has used, okay? Okay, guys, it is time for me to go. I wish you all a warm and happy day. Tomorrow, one o'clock, Answer Plays Minecraft. Fare thee well. <laughs>